All right, I have my goggles on and I'm ready to play. My name is Sloth154. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Now, last episode, I ended after we had fought Odin for the second time and lost. Barnabas kicked our ass and we weren't ready for him. So this episode, we're going to talk to Joshua, figure out what's going on next. In between this and the last episode, I let me just show you what I was doing. This is one of the things I was doing. I did some side missions. That allowed me to upgrade uh, my uh, bag size and what's it called? Potion uh, potency. But in between this and the last episode, I did all, I did most of these. Where is it? This thing was the worst thing ever. It's what I wasted the final potion, the final elixir on. Not knowing that that was a one time buy. So. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Check out the description. I'll have a link to the playlist for this series and other games I played on my channel. Let's get ready to fight darkness. How are you feeling, Joshua? Oh, and Clive and That's Jill affirmed their feelings. But not nearly as well as you should be. That's... Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Not Clive, what he's would special. You have me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. That's how you say that word, curl. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. Yeah, he kicked both our asses. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill spoken. No, I got it. I took a whooping. I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps. Perhaps? Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Well, fake it till you make it. It's all you have to do. It's all anyone really can do. Fake it till you make it. Then let others tell you they listen. I think that entire city is a slum now. Yeah, I don't get Dion. He should have healed up before he came back here and saw what he did. And Medicine Girl. Is this place the slums Dion oh you've never been in a slum before slum is where the poor people live don't move It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. It's a custom that follows the world I for some reason. For her when she passed away. <laughs> yeah, the death toll that we unleashed on this, well, Dion unleashed on this city, it's just staggering. That fight, though.
fiend works from the shadows. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? They just pushed it over your limits. Well, your mental limit. No, not you. This is my doing. My fault. My sin to bear. Well, you better get to work on more fixing it. And well, working it, to make it better. I must atone. That's the work. Your hurts are healing nicely. Your hurts? It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? If he doesn't die, probably. He has a lot to atone for. Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. That red dot is going to come. It's going to be important. Perhaps he can find an answer. Yeah, everyone has to find their own answers. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. Yes, yeah, so we're going to break the crystal. Wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You're right, we'll stop when we're in the grave. Take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, Half a about day. The same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile and that we'll be attacked on sight. Well, everyone else will be attacked on sight. Clive, Clive is fine. And I have an idea who might know of one. The professor, I'll go and tell you coming. While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Yeah. I want the final elixir, elixir back. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. It is a grown man and it's his choice. I'm gonna speak with Vivian. What the, oh, nope. Ooh, new hunts. We're going to speak with Vivian and what we need to learn. I got to learn where these hunts are so I can get them. All right. So the new monster is an S-class monster. A, chimera, a, chimera, a chimera. Say it all you like. It doesn't make it true. All right. Ah, Clive. Vivian. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. No, I'm going to handcuff her to you so she doesn't run away. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Well, you're boring, Clive. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash. And the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Yeah. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. I think everyone there's there a Kashik or an land. orc. 
You won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! What? All right, all right. If it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? So we need to tape her mouth shut. Barnabas Tharm. The one they call the last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walu. We're getting there. We're going to kick his Barnabas ass. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas. And barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Huh. Note that this was in the year 843. And that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later. Quite untouched by time. Walud's well. recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray. A bold declaration of intent. Well, we sunk that. Oak swarm around Drake's oh, wait, he sunk that. Of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. That's fine. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment. The Enterprise will be fine. It has jet engines. Next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. So go back to where we were at first. That's fine. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard... It wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Aren't you the Captain Mid? It's your ship. All right, so I've got to go get, oh, the book, the library. So I'm going to get to Joshua. I got to do some maintenance stuff. So I'll see you soon. All right, here we are. Oh yeah. Uh, in between this and the last episode, I practiced on using Jill's, uh, Shiva's abilities. So I know how to use those pretty well. I have no reason to assume otherwise. Well then. Well, gentlemen, Boy, share. You must listen to this. Rosman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. Yes. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. There's one at all of them. However, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. And will that? Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? No. I would think not, few have. But 
there was once a time then why ask? when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the crystalline orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of ash? I think Barnabas. Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along huh i am relieved to discover it in good hands i shall guard it with my life joshua if you're finished here join me in the ale hall i need to speak to everyone before we leave right away this point in no return kind of thing because if it is i gotta do a Drink up, me hearties. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. Let's do it! So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. Yes, it is. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? Did you train a, an apprentice? Ass, I do. I might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. It's but not. Am I leaving anyone behind? The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You are to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry, I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. I mean, on the water, there's only Don't one dominant that can really match her. But very well. If there are no questions. I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Yeah, of course. Of course, Otto. So I'm going to check a few things, then we are going to go. All right, Otto, what do you got to tell me? Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. Thanks, I'll Otto. Because this might be a one-way trip. I hope not, because there's still some more uh, marked hunts that I need to do. Oh, cool. All right, we made it to Ash, Western Ash, the Shadow Coast, where Clive and Jill maybe got it on. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. That's not infested with orcs or the undead. Akashic count as undead. 
because they died. But they're still moving. Five. There's something I've been meaning to ask. Yes? You took her icon, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I did. She understood. It was more of a gift. And wham! <laughs> Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own and that you die without her power. Yes. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I should be the only one to die for it, though. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? Nope, it will just keep pushing us forward. Well, he believes you. And so be it. At some point, someday, Just don't forget, I will get you back, Joshua. I'm not alone. I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Yeah. Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. As it had to be there kind of thing. We've already made to Willette? Oh, never mind. Footfalls in Ash. Okay. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, what for know, us? Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Oh. Shall we sample its I did not see it. Hospitality? Look at the map. That is our destination. I don't think there's anyone living there. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. Yeah, I don't think this there's anyone left living in this ghost. kingdom. Yeah, see, they're all Kashik. And the flames of the phoenix. I see only orcs and a kashik here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. There you go. That's the one. That's the really good thing about Jill's ability. It allows me to freeze them. Oh, 
I'm gonna hunt everything I can because I need the boost. We can get a level up or anything. That all helps. I'm also looking for treasure chest. Never know when I'm gonna be able to come back here. This is some eerie music. Oh, look, more people. This might take a while. My abilities are really coming in handy. about that welcome after all Clyde I don't think there's any royalists left or everything outside of his main city is just Akashic and dead Yes. That's no peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Esther Slabber and monsters. <sighs> yeah, let's trust our allies. Clive, you must go on ahead without me. What are you gonna do? This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. Go for archaeologists, man. All right. Stay out of trouble. Or at least don't Always die. Do. Mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own. Of course. Mostly. Is Gav a bear? Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. Okay. We're gonna make it to this village, wait for Joshua. We'll have some new knowledge. Makes you really wish they had cameras. Uh oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, oh my! This place reeks like a mobile's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us. I'll most likely be the muckrat. Oh, 
Oh, turtle. And birds. I'm gonna hunt all these things so that I can just try to get that level up. So I'll see you guys. Nah. Alright. There we go. You guys have brought back in a flashy manner. Huh. That doesn't look right. Oh, God damn it. There's still more things to hunt. Yeah, see, that's a. That's gonna be a problem later. I know it. So I'm gonna continue to hunt things until I get to the village, which is 400 yards away. Actually, let's just look at this. Yeah, I just gotta get through this area. So I'm gonna keep hunting. I'll see you guys in the village. Alright, here we are. I got through, I gotta level up. Now we go to this village. Oh, how much breath. Uh, don't look down, Togo. Huh. Oh, really deep. Looking down, Shrek. I can't do it. I just don't have that much of an expressive voice. That must be Estla. And they're all dead. What do you think, Clive? They're all either Akashic or dead. Then we're too late. Was it, boy? Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. We could put them to rest. That was a lot. That it sounds like they're screaming. I don't want to die here, Clive. Them don't. Keep fighting, then, Gav. Oh. Okay, I gotta build this up. I'll see you guys once I get it started. Make a play.
Anything else? Well, aren't you beefy? Alright, I gotta get Bahamut's uh, ability back up. See? What are you gonna do? Too slow. Oh, you only have one more chance. Not even that. You can get more fast than the big boy. gonna burn you and everything you are into ash the flames of the phoenix and then erase you with the light got that right We took care of that nice and powerfully. We're out of breath. Don't relax. Gav. Dragon. Gav. Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Hey, Odin. Um, I did not expect Have you that. Come to watch, Odin. You pervert. Bound for stone here. You know Good. it. My master awaits you in the capital. No, I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. Are you gonna give me the power of darkness? And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this? We're gonna die. Well, Gav is gonna die. Oh, that's what. Whoa. Hell, fuck off. Huh. Is there some kind of book that we can learn this from? Oh, we can't get in unless we kill Odin. Okay. What did you do? Come on, answer the question. If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made. Presentable. What did I don't know what you mean by presentable? <laughs> Shit. No. Uh, 
alive? Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? I think we're trapped. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a electrocution oh, thing, to not be. just the How are you know poof. To get through that? Well, you can't, but Clive can. We seek an audience with the king. If His Majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition. We don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? He went out to Joshua. All right. Thank you for being the voice Maybe of reason. Something here we can use. Travel point. Looks like this is a village of stonemasons. I thought we got them all. So did I. I'm gonna look around the village for a little bit, so I will see you guys soon. All right, let's see what's in this house. Housekeeping. How did you survive? Please, please no. Uh, miss. <laughs> Whoa, easy, easy. We're not turned, all right? We're just the uh, two men with big swords who just broke into your house. Forgive me for asking, but what went on here? It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far along to run. And, and then the nights came. And I didn't know what to do. Yeah, well, nothing. And this, uh, okay. Is just a story. Something our grandparents told us when we met. Woman, made. you are in a nightmare. Tell us the story. About how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad. But where did they go? They, they all left. The one east to the tower, to Reverie. The elders, the healer, the blacksmith. My husband. Well, we can't get you out of here because of Odin, but... You thinking Hopefully. he did this? 
Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. Then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? He wants to break Clive. The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... It's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower... That's where we'll find the king. Depending on how close I can get to the tower, I might end the episode. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Can you open it without the power of darkness? Which means at the end of these stairs should be. Can we finally see what the thing is? The mural. It's complete. Oh, they all fought against Ultima. Ultima and this vessel, Ifrit. Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. Where is the phoenix? I think the phoenix is the one who led the rebellion. Oh! Are you fit at risen form? By the founder. He needs both Joshua and Clive. You didn't take your medicine, did you? So that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? So that's how it's going to be then. I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? Then scorched earth. Aye. Don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get to the tower and then I'm going to end the episode. If Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow. Yeah, and that so happens. Let's see this mansion though.
So I'm going to make my way to that tower. As soon as we get to the tower, I'm going to end the episode before we get in there. Yeah. Wrong one. All right. I looked up the level cap. I'm almost at max level for this. Well, for this small the final of the game. It's going to be a named. This is going to be a marked hunt here in the future. There's something there. I can feel it. But now's not the time. Fine, Clive. Almost at where we need to be. Plus, it devolves into a plague. this in the flames of the phoenix and it's done That was annoying, but it's done.
Oh look, treasure, treasure chest. One of the fancy ones. Alright. I needed that. Edge of infinity. This is it, boy. All right, after this cutscene, I'm going to end the episode. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode. Next episode, we will be fighting Odin so that we can gain access to this mother crystal, destroy it, and hopefully stop Ultima's plans. So, if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Check out the description. I have a link to the playlist for this series and other games I played on my channel. Tell me what you think about the episode and tell me what you think about the, the reveal of the mural what joshua figured out and what he has and what he might do to ensure that ultima never gets his hands on clive any which way we're gonna continue on in the next episode it's gonna be a big old fight the revere so if you made this far in the video brian thanks you and yeah we'll see you next time